Hello there ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to User 1 Productions, my name is David. And in today's Unity tutorial, we're going to be looking at how to make a main menu system. Uh, this is going to be very bare bones, we're not going to go into the extras where you can actually change volume, make it full screen, or change your quality settings yet. This is just part one to actually getting the menu up and running. Also, please remember, everything that you can find in this video or this tutorial series or anything on this channel will be linked on a Google Drive. It is linked in the description down below, as well as our Discord server, so I highly advise you guys to get in there. If you have any questions or concerns or suggestions for anything, uh, the Discord is the best way to contact me or any other of the talented game developers that are in there that are always waiting to help people. So with that all being said, you guys, I'm going to hop into Unity, show you the finished product, and then we'll go over into the tutorial. So here I am in just a very basic little scene where it says the title of my game, start, options, extras, and quit game. Uh, right off the bat, the quit game will not actually do anything. Turn this down. Uh, quit game will not actually do anything just yet because uh, the game has to be built in order for it to work like that. Uh, but we do have an extras menu. There's nothing in here because there's no extras to my game yet. You can add whatever you want in here. Return the main menu, options. We have a volume slider, which does nothing. And then this would say your quality settings, which it doesn't because it's not set up yet. And we have full screen on or off. Return to main menu, start game, it starts loading. And then whatever you have your scene set to, it'll start uh, in that scene for you. All right, so let's go into the tutorial. I'm just going to save this real quick as main menu. And I'm going to make a new scene for the uh, tutorial. What we're going to do right off the rip is actually create an empty game object. And I'm going to call this main menu. Inside the main menu, we're going to go UI canvas. We're going to rename this to main menu canvas. And inside there, I'm going to go UI again and raw image. Before we actually start scaling everything, let's go back to main menu canvas and uh, let's go to canvas scaler scale with screen size. I'm going to do 1920 by 1080 uh, because that's my monitor size and it's a very easy variable for smaller monitors to scale to or bigger monitors to scale to. So let's go back to that raw image. I'm going to make the width 1920 by 1080 as well. And that's going to get us a background. I'm going to make it black because in my specific case, I'm making a horror game. Uh, you could change this to whatever. You can add an image or you could have no image at all and have a live like uh, background going in your game. I'm just going to call this the background. It's very helpful to have this stuff named so you actually know what it is. And also the script is going to be going off of main menu canvas. So we're going to need to have that uh, when we go over to the script later on, you'll understand what I'm talking about inside that main menu canvas. I'm going to create another game object, uh, an empty one. And I'm just going to call this buttons inside the buttons. We're going to add a component. We're going to add a vertical layout group. We're going to uncheck everything and make sure the spacing is something decent. So I'm going to do 15 and see how that looks inside the buttons. I'll go UI and create a button wherever that is. There it is. And let's change the width to something a little more uh, friendly. So let's do 250 by say 75. Uh, that looks pretty good for a button for us to press. Open up that button and change the text to whatever. I'm just going to have this as start game. And then I will change the scaling of the uh, text to say 28. And now we have a start game button. Pretty cool. Right here in font, you notice how in the beginning uh, I did have it set to a different font. That is just because... I download this one called uh, Another Danger, uh, and this is where you can actually click and drag it in if you want. For tutorial sake, I'll keep it just the Arial. Something else you're going to realize is that our button is not like centered with the screen. You can notice that it's like a little off center, and if we play the game, it's even more obvious that it's more towards the right side of the screen. Uh, the reason for this is because in the buttons, uh, empty game object uh, with the vertical layout group, we need to do child alignment, do that middle center. And that will fix that problem right off the bat. And there we go. Now our button is dead center of our screen. Uh, we'll be moving that around later. And that button we just created, this is start game. I'm just going to call that start game so I know which button it is. And now, because we're in a vertical layout group, if we do control D, it's going to align it properly and give it some spacing because that's pretty much what we told to do with the uh, vertical layout group. I'm going to rename this button to options and then go inside its text element and put it in the text. So now we have an options and we're going to do that for extras as well. So let's go extras and then into the text and do extras and one more button for quit game. And I'll just call this quit. 
rename the text once again to quit. And now if we play the game, we have four buttons that we can select from start game, options, extras, and quit. Okay. We can close the buttons tab right here and actually right click the main menu canvas, go UI text. I'm just going to bring that up above where the um, buttons are. I'm going to change the width to something huge like 750 by 250. And I'm going to rename this to whatever the title is. So title of the game for tutorial's sake. And I'll change that font size to 75 just so it's pretty big. We could change the color to it, which I'm going to make this a, I think I'm going to make it a red because we're making a horror game. And then just make sure the alignment is center center. And then we can move that accordingly. Play the game. Check it out. Perfect. I'm going to rename this text that we just created to title. And then I'm going to duplicate it and call this title uh, shadow. Just to give it a little more immersion. Uh, we will go to color again. I'm going to change this to a white. If it displays on top, put the title shadow on top of the title object. And then I'm going to scroll in and just move it to the side a little bit. So now we kind of have like this little drop shadow to the text. It just gives it a little more life to it. Uh, if you don't like how it looks, go to title, font style, and do bold. And then do the same thing with the shadow. And most of the time that makes it look a little bit better than what it did previously. And now we need to create the other menus. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to deactivate man main menu. Uh, control D on it and call this options. We're going to show that. And then the title and the title shadow, I'm going to, you know, change that to options uh, menu. I'm going to do that for both of them. So that way the shadow and the text is the same. As for buttons, we only need one of them. So you can delete three of them. Rename this to return to menu. And then change the text object. And it's going to say return to menu. Close that up. And in the buttons on the options, we're going to go UI and we will add a, let's see, let's do a slider first. I'm going to move that above the return to main menu and then I'm going to change its size to 275, I think, or 250 because that's my button size. And that will be used as a volume slider. Inside the slider, I'm going to go UI text and I'm going to call this just volume. Change the width to 250 as well. I'll change the height to 100 or maybe a little less. Let's do, uh, does 75 look better? 75 looks pretty good for now. Uh, change the color to white. Font size, we'll keep it native to everything else. So we'll do 28. And once again, I'll change the height to 100. And now it looks like we have a volume slider. Close that, go to buttons again, go UI. And this time we'll add a toggle. Toggle is pretty much going to be like our... Uh, selector for the full screen to non full screen. So let's go to the toggle and once again, we'll change the size to 250. So that way it does align correctly with everything else. Now that we have that toggle, we can go into its label and change the title to uh, full screen. And we're just going to change that color to white. So now there's a toggle for full screen inside of our options menu. And then we'll make one more thing. Uh, we're not going to go over how to get these working today, but we will go over them in a future tutorial. Uh, so this is going to be part one to making a main menu. Let's go back to buttons again, right click UI, and this one's going to be a drop down. And once again, I'm going to put that above the return to main menu. We're going to then change the width again to 250 and the height can be a little bit different. Uh, I'm going to change it to say 50. Or maybe we'll do it 75 so it matches what the other button is. Go into the drop down. Let's go to label. And then we'll say quality settings. And I'll change that font size to 28. So now we can duplicate the whole options menu. Uh, hide the original options menu. And then rename the duplicated one to extras. And inside this, again, the title shadow and title I'll call extras menu. Uh, inside the buttons, I'm just going to have return to main menu in here uh, because my game has no extras yet. You guys can literally add whatever you want inside of this. That's completely up to you. Um, but for me, I'm just going to leave it blank for now. I'm going to duplicate this just one more time. Hide the extras menu and just call this loading. 
because depending on your hardware, uh, as soon as you press start game, it won't go directly to the game. It will sometimes just freeze at the main menu and you're like, what's going on? So if a menu that says loading pops up, you'll know the game is loading. So we're going to get rid of all the buttons and just have the title and drop shadow. I'm going to move them both to about the center of the screen, right about there. And then I'm going to call them uh, loading. And I'll add a couple dots uh, at the end. Cool. Now the game says loading. We can flash that menu off and just go back to the main menu. So that's the only thing that's showing. And we're pretty much almost done, you guys. So what we need to do next is actually right click, go create empty, and we're going to call this uh, the main menu logic. Let's make sure we have everything named correctly. So in main menu, the canvas you want to be calling is main menu canvas. Options menu, I've already forgot to do this, my mistake. Uh, the canvas inside options menu you want to be called options canvas, and then so on from there. So extras, change that to extras canvas. And then loading will be the loading canvas. Close those up now. Main menu logic is going to get main menu logic script. Uh, let's actually open that up so we can see what's going on real quick. So here's our logic for the simple main menu. We have four private game objects. The reason I have them private is just to kind of clean up the editor a little bit. Um, this is completely unnecessary. If you want to turn these to private or uh, public, and click and drag them into the uh, you know the boxes that will appear here you can absolutely do that but for me to save time what I'm gonna do is keep them private we have main menu options menu extras and loading we have a public audio source for button sound so in the start function the main menu is going to find menu canvas this is why I said renaming these is important because it's gonna be looking for this object here the main menu canvas and it'll realize it has the canvas um, component to it which is what we're going to be turning on and off when we go between the, the uh, different menus. So very simple. We do that for each one of the menus and we make sure that their canvases are off except the main menus, which is true. And then we have all these public void for the different buttons. So we have to set those up. So the start button is going to uh, grab the loading object, uh, the loading canvas, my mistake, and turn that on. And actually it should turn the main menu off. So let's go main menu false uh, this is just going to ensure that that's the only menu up right now you guys won't have to worry about this in your script because I'm uploading it after I fix it so then after it flashes the uh, after you press the button it's going to play the button sound effect that you use and it's going to go scene manager load scene sample scene this is where you want to change it to your scene name right now I'm just using the sample scene so that's what it's going to go to if you have a level called level 125 x change this to one uh, level 125 x we next have an options button which is going to play the button sound they're all going to do that and it's going to turn the main menu off and turn the options menu on and so on that's exactly what it does for each one uh, when we get to exit button it plays the button sound and application.quit meaning it just closes the application uh, you won't be able to do this in the editor but if you build the game i promise you this works and then we have the return to main menu button which is just going to turn off every canvas, whether we're in the options menu or the extras menu, and just make sure the main menu is on. Application.quit and this one up here, scene manager.load scene, can only be done if you have using Unity Engine.scene management. Without this, you would not be able to use this script. Just for future reference, if you guys want to start making your own codes. Okay, so now that that's all done, we can add whatever sound effect we want to the main menu logic, which I just made this one called main menu buttons. I'll play it for you guys real quick. There it is. And we want to make sure plan wake is off. We will click and drag audio source into the main menu logic script. And now we just need to set up all of our buttons. So let's go to our buttons in the main menu first. I'm going to select start game. This is going to get really repetitive in a second. So let's go start game. Scroll down to the bottom where it says on click. Press the plus. Click and drag that empty game object for main menu logic into this box down here. Function, main menu logic, and find the button that it is, which this one is start. And you're going to do that for all of them. So we go to options, main menu, function, main menu logic. And this is going to bring up the options menu. Same thing with extras. We got um, to bring this in here and go main menu logic. 
extras button and quit is just going to get the exit application which is right here exit game button perfect so now these four buttons are all set up but we don't have a way to get back to them so in our options menu we have a button called return to main menu again just press the plus bring in main menu logic function main menu logic and return to main menu and you're going to do that same thing inside the extras menu which again has the uh, return to main menu button so bring that in main menu return to main menu now if we play the game we should be able to click on each one of these buttons they have a different function on them so quit obviously doesn't do anything because uh it's not built just to test this i'm actually going to put a line of code in here called uh not this one we want to go here right underneath application.quit we go debug dot if i could type log app has exited and this will just show us that the button is in fact working also just one more thing you want to make sure you go file build settings and you have that sample scene or whatever scene you are starting the game to in here as well as the main menu and just have the main menu on top of your uh, game scene okay so now that we have that debug.log in there if we press quit you'll see app has exited meaning it is working now if we press extras nothing pops up and the reason for that is because you want these to be turned on so it doesn't matter what you see here right now it's going to auto do that because of our start function saying what's on and what's off so make sure you have all the um the titles on or else this won't work so let's play the game again app is exited extras extra menu return to main menu options we have our options we could play around with these even though they don't do anything just yet and then we have start game brings up loading and then we are in our our game and that's going to be it for this tutorial my friends um pretty basic tutorial we will be going over once again how to actually set up the options menu and have the sliders actually do stuff to our volume make sure the screen is full screen or not depending on what you want and then we'll even look at resolution sizes and quality settings. With all that being said, my friends, remember everything is in the description for a free download on a Google Drive, as well as our Discord server. And also, we are quickly making our way up to 1,000 subscribers, so I really appreciate all you guys. Thank you all so much. And I will catch you in the next tutorial. This is User1 Productions signing off for now. Peace.